Okay guys, we're gonna do a little car wash video here. The wife's car has been neglected for a little while. Uh, she's run through some wet roads, got a little bit of kick up, lots of dust, and I've got a few new products to use. So stay tuned for the video. Let's check out some new products. And if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, do it now and press that notification bell so you get all the new videos we're putting out. Let's go. and today we're gonna to be using a new pressure washer. It's by Giraffe Tools. It's called the Grand Falls Pressure Washer. This is a 2200 PSI with 2.1 gallons per minute pressure washer. Now it comes with its own wand. It comes with a place to put all your tips and it includes the tips, okay? Now I'm gonna try out something different. I'm gonna use my own pistol wand I know this works well, but I'm getting rid of my other pressure washers and I wanna try out my pistol one here. So I've attached this here. This also comes with its own little foam cannon. And uh, a neat thing about this pressure washer is it has a hundred foot hose to it with a reel. So all you do is pull it and it locks into place. And when you want to take it back, you just pull it and slowly walk it back in and it goes back into place. It's real easy. It's great to use. It keeps everything nice and clean. It's an electric pressure washer that has a lot of power. Now I have another gas and electric pressure washer. This has more power than my electric already, than my AR Blue but not as powerful as my gas. It's somewhere in between, which makes it fantastic for me because I always wanted a little bit more power than my AR. Now this pressure washer is coming out February 12th, 2022 on Amazon and on their official main website. I will post links in the description. So if you want to know more about it and where you can get it, February 12th, check the links. Let's get going guys. All right, how fast is it to hook up the pressure washer? Well, I put quick links in all my ends here. So here's my hose, here's the pressure washer. Stick it in, it's done. I turn on the water. Now it's coming through here. I press the button, make sure the water flows all the way through all of the, the hose. I don't want any air in there and I turn it on, that's it. It's pressurized, it's ready to go. All right guys, I got some uh, some of the new Koshemi. Now, 
I was saying Koch Kemi or Coke Kemi. It's Koshemi. And actually, I heard the CEO say that. So Koshemi. Uh, I got their GS. This is their Green Star. It's kind of like a universal cleaner. And I'm going to use it inside my little spray bottle for the wheels here. I'm going to use it at a 1 to 10 dilution. It's got some nice foam in it. Looks like it sticks pretty well. with this small gun on it. Uh, I mean, the regular wand works well, but this is so much better to control. I'm awesome. We've got the Koshemi in here, one to four. We're gonna use it to pre-treat some of these areas here. And just the bottom, basically. guys we got our 3d pink soap in here Alright guys, and you see the Gion coating. This has the Synchro kit on it. It just wants to repel all the soap on the windows. We have can coat from Gion. Look at it, it just wants to repel the soap. kick up from the front or something that, that got driven through and it was splashed up here. As you can see, I haven't agitated anything and it's all off. So I'm looking at the rest of the panels. They look great. 
any of the bugs gone. Not bad for a green star pre-treat and then a pre-foam with the pink soap. All right, let's check out some of the beading still going on after the wash with the pink soap from 3D. <laughs> All right guys, so uh, so far we've used the Koshemi GS, that's Green Star. We kind of cleaned the wheels with them. We applied it to the bottom of the rocker panels. Then we shot some 3D pink soap on it. We foamed it first, rinsed it, foamed it again, and did a hand wash. The car is very, very clean. Still feels nice and smooth. Got lots of hydrophobic behavior on it. It is coated in Gion Synchro. The windows are coated with Gion Can Coat. And you can definitely see all those coatings just very, very well. The hydrophobics are insane. The beads stand up. They are not like flatter beads. So very, very powerful stuff. I'm gonna pull it in and let's apply something for an LSP. Okay guys, and since the wheels are still wet, I'm gonna hit it with some Dino Wax Serum Boost. Now I'm just gonna spray this on. All 
right, you guys, and for the final touches, on this one, I'm gonna hit it with the Angel Wax QED. Now, how I like to use that is I get a towel here, and I wet the towel a little bit, I spray it with a little bit of, of water here. Then I get the QED, and you can either spray the towel or you could spray the paint, however you want to do. Once you get it there, you wipe it in. And you come back with your fresh towel and you buff it off. And that feels real good. You can tell the difference in the QED side and the not QED side. A lot more slick over here. So I'm gonna go around the whole car and finish this off. Alright guys, and for the tires, we got some Pro Products Blue Ice. This is their tire and trim gel. And I like this, it's a nice thick consistency. Goes on nice. And a little goes a long way. And for the glass, we're going to hit it with some of the Griot's Ceramic Glass Cleaner. Now these are already ceramic coated with Gion hand coat. So this is just going to be a nice topper for them. Okay guys, so we're done with the pressure washer. This was the Giraffe Tools Grand Falls Pressure Washer. It is phenomenal, guys. This is coming on February 12th. It's supposed to be $2.99 on Amazon. Like I said, the links will be in the description. So how do we put it away? Well, it's already hung up. We're gonna turn off the water. We're gonna let out whatever liquid well we're going to turn it off first so i turned it off we're going to put out any liquid that's in the line any pressure and then i've got all this hose here and all you have to do is give this a little tug and then it will go right in for you And I'm trying to do this slowly. That's it guys. Very, very cool, very easy. Unplug my top. I hang my wand in there and we are done. Guys, I love this pressure washer. So easy to install, it works easy. It's cheap, it has a lot of pressure with a good gallon per minute rinsing power, 2.1 gallons per minute and 2200 PSI. The retractable hose, 100 foot hose, locking in place. Comes with your own wand. It's a long style rifle wand and it's got all the tips you need 
and they plug right in the top of it. It also comes with a foam cannon if you don't have one. This is a nice little small one. It does the job adequately. So you get a lot, a lot of bang for your buck with this pressure washer. Check it out on Amazon, Giraffe Tools Pressure Washer. Grand Falls, $299. I've seen these things go from $700 to like $1,500 for different name brand ones. And this one is fantastic, guys. All right, guys, if you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe. Press the notifications button so you get all the new videos we're putting out. What did we do today? We cleaned up the Tesla Model Y Performance. Now, that has been coated with the Geon Synchro Kit. It's got two layers of Mohs, one layer of skin. The windows are all can-coated from Geon. Now, I wanted to wash this car, so I used my new pressure washer from Giraffe Tools. Very powerful, 2200 PSI electric 2.1 gallons per minute with a 100 foot hose and a reel connected to it with a locking and retractable hose on it. Very, very cool. It's got a gun, it's got a lot of tips. Super easy to put in, install four bolts into the wall, put the plate on and mount it. That's it. Then hook it up to your hose and go to town. So what do we do today? We, we put some green star, got some Co Shemi, some Co Shemi Green Star. I used it at a one to 10 ratio. Now this is a universal cleaner. You can use it on the exterior and the interior of the car. I made it in a foaming pump sprayer so I could spray down the wheels and clean the wheels well. Um, I did the rocker panels on the bottom where any extra dirt had kicked up and I did inside the fenders. Sprayed it on, foamed it in, scrubbed everything down, scrubbed the wheels, scrubbed the fenders, and rinsed it off. Fantastic product. I really like the Koshemi products, okay? Koshemi. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, yeah, shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. Anyway, we grabbed some of the 3D pink car soap. Now I put some of that into my foam cannon over there on the floor. I barely put like maybe an ounce and a half, two ounces, and I foamed up the car. It had a nice runny foam to it. If you put more of this, it's gonna foam up really, really thick, okay? This stuff smells fantastic, like cherries. It's got a nice slickness to it, and it's cheap. It's cheap to, to buy the soap. It's a fantastic soap, all right? It's a pH balance concentrated soap. It says so right there, that's how I know. We washed the car, we rinsed it, we rinsed the pre-foam, we foamed it again and we did a hand wash. Now the hand wash, I used the Chanel mitts and then I have another uh, wool mitt. Very, very soft. I just washed these in the washing machine and all I do is wash them like microfiber towels. I use some type of microfiber wash. Cold water, wash them, dry them on very, very low heat and they come out super clean again. So make sure you wash your towels every few washes, all right? From there, we, we dried the car with the McKees 37 Glacier 1100. That's this towel here, and it's, I use the very, very big towel so I can throw it over the top of the car and drag it back and I don't need to get out the ladder. This, this towel will dry two to three cars, guys. It's very absorbent. It's handy, it's got little pockets where you can put your hands in and just my favorite drying towel that I have. 
And when there's a lot of good drying towels out there, but this is my favorite. After that, we pulled the car in. I did the wheels with Dino Wax's Ceramic Boost. Now, this is a product that they use with their, I guess with their coating system. After you've coated your car, uh, you spray this on and wipe it around all the paint to level any high spots. That's how I take it. But it also works well as a standalone. It's very hydrophobic and uh, this is a form of protection as well. All right, it smells fantastic. This has got like this great uh, bamboo scent that you might get in a spa or something. And it goes on real nice and easy. You wipe it on and you buff it off. Very, very nice product. I like this uh, serum boost from Dino Wax. Once I finished with that, I grabbed my Angel Wax QED. Now Angel Wax has three QEDs. They have the regular, they have uh, Enigma, and then now they have Atomic with graphene in it. So the Enigma will have SiO2, and this is just a simple, quick uh, exterior detailer. That's what QED stands for. I use a damp towel, I spray it on, I rub it in, and I wipe it off with a dry towel. Fantastic, lots of gloss, good slickness, great product from Angel Wax here. We went to the tires and we got the Pro Products Blue Ice. This is a nice thick gel. You can use this on the trim or the rubber. Smells good, smells fresh like a hair conditioner. I'm, I, I would assume, you know, that's, that's just what it smells like to me. It's nice and thick. You put some on and you can go over your whole tire with it and it gives a, it gives a really nice uh, sheen and deep, dark look. Not overly glossy, just perfect. And uh, I like this, a this bottle goes a long way. A little bit of product goes a long way. So fantastic product here. It dries really, really fast and it's not tacky either when you drive off. So you're not gonna have sling. Finally on the windows, we got the uh, little tester bottles or little sample bottles of ceramic glass cleaner. This is something you wanna apply maybe once a month, not every wash, every three or four washes. It will cake up on itself and uh, it does leave protection on there. It cleans the windows and leaves protection. So as you wipe off, you may see a little bit of film. Just come back over, flip your towel, and go over it with some clean sides. You wanna do all your glass with some new clean sides, and you won't have any problem with this. You're gonna get nice hydrophobic behavior, and I'm just topping off the uh, can coat with this. So guys, I hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget February 12th, Giraffe Tools hits with that Grand Falls pressure washer. $2.99, it's a beast, guys. I'm telling you, you're gonna want this.